Well, it's a busy day here at Finch Farm. All the players are doing their promotional TV stuff and camera shots are ahead of the new season. You can see uh, young Conor Grant there doing a bit for Everton TV. Ross Barkley has got quite a bit to do for BT Sports. We've got Sky here as well. Tom Cleverley is in the spotlight at the moment. And Premier League Productions as well are taking photographs. So all the players have to do their bit. It's all part and parcel. I'm delighted to say that all kids are done ready to go. Is Seamus Coleman. It, it sometimes can be a little bit of fun, this, and it gives you something to do between sessions, doesn't it? Yeah, it's obviously part and parcel of uh, the Premier League uh, rules now that you have to do all these things for the TV rights because it's so important. So, um, yeah, it's just about getting it done. And uh, as you said, sometimes it can be a laugh, especially if the lads have a few lines to say or something like that. But no, it's, it's good and all part of it. Have a good summer. Busy summer, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. Um, obviously, uh, holiday-wise, it's Baza. Uh, holiday-wise, we got three weeks which was fine got to go away for a bit but uh, obviously the tournament was brilliant and uh, it was a memorable summer to say the least Come on, we'll, we'll do our talking as we're walking because I don't want you to miss your place it must have been absolutely unbelievable the, the reception that you got when you got back to Ireland having done the country so proud yeah it was um, I suppose especially going back to my hometown uh, somewhere I grew up and uh, obviously it's so important to the people back home to, to be watching the Euros and to have someone from their town playing in it and to come home to that reception was was something else and uh, something that I wasn't really surprised by really the people at Killy Beggs are, are, are special people and as I said uh, on the night there was uh, 23 people in that Ireland squad and I said uh, I wouldn't say anyone came home to that reception so that says a lot about where I'm from it says a lot about you as well by the way yeah. can you tell us what went through your mind when Robbie Brady put the ball in the back of the net? Uh, just as, as you said that there, like uh, I've got good pumples myself. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's something else. Uh, obviously, we thought our chance might have went when Wes Hulan missed his chance, but uh, when Wes put that ball in for Robbie and he scored, it was just uh, a feeling of emotion, really. But also, you had that feeling of, you know, there's five, ten minutes left. We need to see this out. And then when the final whistle went, it was a, a memorable night for us all and a night that we'll always remember. You talk about the team spirit of the Irish as we move forward a bit. So many of the players said afterwards they were so pleased that Wes had the assist because he'd missed the chance. And that just shows the togetherness that you've got there. Yeah, it's a, a very tight group of lads. And, you know, it's a, it's a bunch of lads that, that get on very well. And Wes missed that chance. And I, I said after the game, you know, a lot of players could possibly crumble and uh, go hiding for the next 10 minutes or whatever. But he got on the ball, brave as always, and put a great ball in for Robbie Brady. And as I said, uh, Robbie's put his name in Irish folklore for the rest of his life. How proud were you, Seamus, to wear the armband and, and lead the players out? Because it was all very well stage managed the European Games, weren't they? They were all like major, major events, showbiz events, if you like. Yeah, it was a, it was a great experience, first and foremost, being there and, and being part of the 23. And obviously before the Italy game, when I got the nod to be captain, was a very proud feeling. You know, it's a long way from missing Catherine's days, um, mm -hmm. my first club. So it, it was a very proud, proud and humbling feeling. And then to to make sure I'd done the job as best I could and lead by example and and then to get the result on the night just made it that bit extra special and you know I can always look back and say I've kept my country on such a big occasion. Absolutely. Every Evertonian was very proud so let's take the conversation round to Everton. How excited are you to be working with the, with the new manager? Yeah it's very exciting um, as you can imagine it's all, it's all different, it's all new and I think each and every one of us have to impress all over again and uh, I'm only back a few days but it seems to be uh, seems to be very good, and all the lads are at it. And as I said, everyone will be trying to impress. Looking forward to the new season, Seamus. Yeah, can't wait. Um, you know, we're, we want to uh, we want to finish higher up the league than we did the last couple of seasons, which was obviously disappointing. You know, as players, not we wanted to do better. So um, there's a bit of excitement around new manager, um, new owners, and and possibly a few new players coming in, if that's the case. And as I said, it'll be exciting, and we want to make sure that we can give the fans something to be happy about. Great to see you back at Finch Farm, Seamus. So where you go, get your photograph taken. And I know you like all this. <laughs> Seamus Coleman's away to get his photographs done. We've got Gerard De La Feo here and Aaron Lennon doing their bit. Uh, this is for Sky, just holding up the identification card. Gerard De La Feo signing a few shirts. The technicians never waste the opportunity to get some autographs, trust me. Ross Barkley and John Stones, the two of them just away to our left there, are just uh, doing a bit of keepy-ups for the BT Sport camera. It's a busy old afternoon down here at Finch Farm. We go through this every single year. We hope you've enjoyed our latest live Facebook feature from Finch Farm. <laughs>